Okay, here's the short version. If you're into Revit, if you're into BIM, if you're into engineering visualization, stick around. You're in the right place. If you're into ERE, post-consumerism, advanced retroadaptics, radical frugality, I'm making a new channel. I've already made the new channel. There's a link in the description. Head there now. It's going to get nerdy and weird here from here on out if you're not into Revit stuff. Okay, so here's the long version. I This channel used to be just Revit tutorials, and then it was engineering visualization content stuff because my career was between 2009 and 2021 i have a degree in mechanical engineering i was a design uh, engineer for uh, hvac company in the first year of becoming employed there i got tapped to be the revit guy because they saw me do some sketchup ones and so for six years six solid years i was the revit guy i was in charge not only of production i was in charge of our team i led a team uh, i was in charge of standards and training and uh for multiple offices and i just i spent a lot of time in revit doing stuff and i really enjoyed it i also made a number of tutorials that's what the origin of this channel was was making revit tutorials because uh colleagues would ask me questions and after the 13th time i'd been asked the same question i would go home i'd crack a beer and i'd make a tutorial and then i'd post to, to youtube and the next time i got asked that question i would just shoot them the link it was a lot more efficient in 2016 i shifted away from revit i went to engineering visualization which means i was mostly using blender to create animations and walkthroughs and things like that that was also super fun and then i burnt out on work and i took a break and i've been doing this whole post-consumer thing, decreasing my cost of living. It's been really great. I've been super focused on that, but I'm starting to ramp up doing other things with my life now, other than just figuring out how to not spend a whole bunch of money. And I recently just took a quick dip back into Revit and a couple things. It was like riding a bike. Like I still knew, like my hand knew all the keyboard shortcuts still, which is amazing after seven years. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it so much, but I had this I had like an emotional response that felt, I was like, oh, I'm home. <laughs> I just love do, working in Revit and doing BIM stuff, which sounds kind of funny to say. The other realization I had with talking uh, with some colleagues who are still in industry, I had kind of assumed that the industry would have far passed me by and there'd be nothing left that I have to contribute to the community of uh, BIM operators because I, I just figured, yeah, they progressed. You know, it's been years, I'm, I'm probably, you know, I don't know what the deal is anymore. I don't think that's entirely true. I think I know things right now that are still relevant uh, and value adding to people out there. There's a whole spectrum of sophistications of practices. I think a lot of what I know and what I can talk about uh, has value for people. And I think that since I wanna be spending time in it anyways, I think that I'll be able to get up to speed with where the industry is at fairly quickly. With all that in mind, I am planning on starting to produce more Revit content, BIM content. I'm also going to have some engineering visual, uh, visualization content. I just enjoy that. And I think it's a, it is a good complement to uh, BIM skills. So if you're a BIM operator and you want to have a sort of uh, gravy on the top of your skills, learning some basics of engineering visualization stuff can really set you apart and uh, really provide value, uh, a lot of value to some of your projects. That's what's going to be going on here. I'm really excited to be doing it. And if I can ask you a favor, I would love to hear from you what your current pain points are, what your current frustrations are, curiosities are, things you would like to learn about, but haven't been able to uh, find good content for. So comments down below, add a comment there. Uh, you're also, uh, feel free to send me an email. If you go to my website, tylerjdisney.com, go to the landing page at the very bottom. There's like a form that goes to my email. So you could also email me if you wanted to do that. Anyways, let me know where you're at. I'd be happy to make content, answer questions. Uh, but other than that, stay tuned. There's going to be more stuff coming.